Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, let us understand how we can design a defected ground structure antenna and also learn how this defected ground structure can be used as a filter for eliminating some of the resonant frequencies. Let us first understand the dimensions of the radiating patch here. So it has length of the patch as LP, width of the patch as WP, the ground width is WG and ground length is LG. That is again holds good for the substrate. Similarly, we have LF as the length of the feed, WF as the width of the feed and Y0 is the inset length and YW is a gap between the patch and the feed. The calculated dimensions are mentioned in this table. And also we have a geometry of the defective ground structure here. 2 times RC0 is the length of the rectangular strip. RCI is the radius of the outer circle and RCO is the radius of the inner circle. Now let us create the geometry uh, for simulating the defective ground structure patch antenna. So to do that, first let us create a new project and insert an HFSS design. So once this is done, we can include all the variables into the design by clicking on project and selecting project variables. Let us enter all the variables here one by one. So let me just enter dollar $wp, unit type is length and the value is 37.26. Next we can add dollar $lp, again unit type is length and the value is 28.81. Let us add dollar $wg, unit type length, then the value is 49.22. Similarly, dollar $w, similarly dollar $lg, unit type is length then we can have the value as 40.79 the next variable is dollar lf with a length as 15.16 dollar wf 3.2 then we have dollar wi so the value is 4 millimeters dollar li this is 9.18 then we have dollar wh This is 2.295. Then we have dollar RCI, which is uh, 6 millimeters, and dollar RCO. This is 4 millimeters. respectively then we will just click ok so now all the variables are entered now let us start creating the geometry so for that first let us create the substrate so to do that click on this rectangular box just drag and drop here now we just rename it as substrate and you can assign the material as fr4 Can give color green here then afterwards you can click here double click on the create box you can give minus dollar w g by 2 comma 0 comma 0 as a position then for the x size you can give dollar wg for the y size you can give 
dollar lg and for the z size you can give minus dollar h so then click ok so here dollar h value we have not declared you can just enter it as 1.6 millimeters click ok again click ok you can see here the substrate is created let us uh, make it a proper orientation like this now we will create the feed point for the radiator so to do that create a rectangular sheet you can give the name as the feed and here you can give the color as copper color click ok then give the dimension here so in the position you enter minus dollar w f by 2 comma 0 comma 0 then x size will be dollar w f and then y size is dollar l f then click ok you can see here the feed is created next we have to create a radiating patch to do that create another rectangular sheet so rename it as patch change the color then you can just double click on the create rectangle enter the position minus dollar wp by 2 comma dollar lf minus dollar li comma 0 x size you can give dollar w p and y size you can give dollar l p so then click ok <coughs> you can see here the rectangular uh, radiating patch is created now next to that we have to create the inset gap so to do that let us make a copy of this patch and you can rename that copied version as the gap then here you can double click on the create rectangle and you can change this to dollar w i let this as dollar lf minus dollar li comma zero then here instead of dollar wp you can just write dollar w i and dollar lp is replaced with dollar li you can see here another rectangular uh, sheet is created so now select this patch and then hold the control button select gap just use this subtract operation and click ok you can see a gap is created now select this patch and hold the control button then select feed then go again here for the boolean operation unite you can see here the complete radiator is created now the next thing is we have to create a ground so how to create the ground so let us create a rectangle here you can just double click on this create box of substrate you just copy this position and then you just go to this rectangle you just paste it and you can rename this as ground here give the color as copper color you can double click on this grounds create rectangle here you can just give minus dollar h in the position and here let it be dollar wg and y size as dollar lg now we can see the ground is created at the bottom with a distance from the origin minus dollar h in the z direction now this is a normal ground so we have to create a defect so before that let us assign the excitation port here so to do that let us change this xy to zx and then draw another rectangle then you can call this as excite ex cit let me just type that and this need not be any color here you can just give the position as minus dollar wf 
comma uh, by 2 comma 0 comma 0 then x size is dollar w f then y size is minus dollar h you can click ok so you can see here the excitation is created now let us assign the excitation for this right click assign excitation click on lumped port here let it be 50 ohm and then in the integration line you just select a new line and here you just draw an integration line so then click next finish so port assignment is done you can just observe here in the excitations the port is assigned similarly let us assign the materials for the ground and patch so for the ground right click assign boundary click on perfect electric click ok you can see here under this boundary the perfect electric is uh, assigned to the ground similarly let us go for the patch and then assign the boundary as perfect electric here so click ok so this is perfect electric one is a ground and then perfect electric two is a radiating patch and we have the excitation here now this is a simple rectangular inset fed microstrip patch antenna and uh, let us uh, create the open region here and enter the frequency as 2.4 gigahertz click ok you can see a radiation box is also created here so now next what we can do so we can just go to this radiation just double click on this 3d and here we can enter the theta start value as minus 180 degrees click ok now if you just check here the validation it will shows only the analysis part is pending remaining all is correct so let us go to analysis here right click click on add solution setup enter the solution frequency as 2.4 gigahertz number of passes you can give 18 and then you can click ok again you click on this plus button and right click on the setup add frequency sweep here you can just give 1 to 4 gigahertz and you can select the linear count and enter the value as 1001 steps click ok now we just check this validation and it shows everything is perfect now so far what we have created it is a simple microstrip patch antenna with full ground and inset fed radiator so let us do the simulation for this so let us click on analyze and see the results first so let us save this project as test dgs1 you can see now the simulation started here let us look at the results for a while and then we will go for a defected ground creation and how it is going to impact the results that we will understand so let me just right click on these results uh, here I can select create for field reports and then go to 3d polar plot and select here the gain and select DB here you can see in the families the solution frequency 2.4 whatever that I have assigned so it is selected you can just click on new report so this is plotting the radiation pattern at 2.4 gigahertz so we are getting approximately 2.9 dB of gain at 2.4 gigahertz similarly let us now plot the resonance characteristics for that click on results go to create model solution data report click on rectangular plot here and select s parameter s11 db click new report if you just look at this graph it is very clear for us that the designed antenna is resonating at two different frequencies the first resonant frequency is 2.4190 which is close to the solution frequency that what we set as 2.4 gigahertz and there is one more resonance here at 
3.7780 gigahertz. Now, the first resonant frequency that is 2.419 gigahertz is the dominant mode and there is a higher order mode at 3.7780. So here the radiation properties may be not up to the mark. Now let us design a defector ground structure antenna. So to do that, let me just make a copy of this and paste it in the same design here. And now rename this as with DGS. Just double click here and let me just make uh, this radiating surface hidden for a while and rotate here and see this is a full ground. Now we have to make a defect in this ground. So to do that, let me just uh, create a circle and enter the position value as 0, comma, dollar li, comma, minus dollar h. And the radius you can give it as dollar r c i. So let us click OK. You can see here a circle is created. Now let us make a copy of this circle 1. Use control C and then control V. You can see circle 2 is created. Just double click on this create circle and you can give here instead of r c i you can just keep it as r c o. Then click OK. You can see one more circle is created. So now you can select circle 1 and then circle 2. You can use the boolean operation subtract and click OK. You can see here a ring is created here. Now let us create one rectangle. Okay. So let us give here the position value of the rectangle as minus dollar w h by 2 comma dollar li minus dollar r c i plus dollar r c o by 2 comma minus dollar h that is the position and you can put a exercise as dollar w h and y size will be 2 times dollar r c i minus dollar r c o then click ok you can see here a rectangular strip is created and a circle is created let us select this circle 1 and this rectangular 1 click on unite you can see this shape is created now what we have to do we have to subtract this circle 1 from the ground so to do that select ground first and then click on circle 1 and then go to boolean operation subtract and click ok you can see here a ground is getting defected now now this is the place where we have removed the circle and a rectangle from this ground so this is a defected ground now let us check this the validation is done you can go for a simulation click analyze all the simulation started now let us look at the results here so just select here results and since we have already uh, created the results in the previous simulation that is available here so it will get updated so click on this 3d uh, polar plot and you can see here 2.967 uh, db approximately it is uh, appearing you can update it till all the passes completes here yeah now this is 2.9130 db is a gain for the defected ground antenna and similarly you can just check uh, the result of the full ground it is 2.904 
there is not much difference between uh, that and this a slight increase in the gain is observed in the antenna with the DGS that is approximately 0 0.1 0 0.01 dB of difference similarly if you just look at this uh, resonant frequency we can see the 2.4 gigahertz is available okay the 2.4 gigahertz resonance is available whereas the 3.7 gigahertz resonant was uh, uh, seen in the previous design is not appearing now that clearly shows that it is acting as a filter or it is eliminating the second resonant point that what we found in the uh, previous simulation at 3.77 we had one uh, resonance that is removed and the first resonance is retained and it is slightly shifted to 2.47 gigahertz with a good resonance value so this is how we can make use of defective ground structures for uh, rejecting a band or for enhancing some of the radiation performances that's all in this video thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe like and share to your friends thank you